this is a little Picea spruce that um, I repotted about four weeks ago um, because I liked the idea of doing a bonsai with it. Now, all I've done so far to this little plant is I've repotted it into some bonsai soil. Well, you know, bonsai soil, but this is basically a little bit of compost with a little bit of lava rock and some academia mixed in and some perlite as well. It gives lots of air space um, for the roots, allows them to be healthy because they're going to be stuck in a pot for a while. Um, I've also taken any little um, branches or um, leaves off the trunk, which you can't see at the moment, but um, there's still a few on there, but not many, um, to expose the trunk so we can see what we're working with. And my intention is to wire these two branches down sort of like this straighten out some of the foliage so we've got the start of some pads and leave the center part um, up i've got this one at the back here which i'm leaving on for now i don't know if he'll keep it permanently or not but at the moment i'm going to leave it as it is um, now unfortunately i've only got one pair of hands so i can only show you stage by stage what i'm doing um, with the wiring um, i will try and get some close-ups of me wiring this tree so you can see what i'm doing so here's the little picea um, now it's actually quite a few weeks on since I first filmed it with all its foliage on um, and I'm going to be wiring it today. Um, apologies for the triops, they're in the background um, so I don't they hope they don't distract you too much. Um, to start with I want to wire these two branches down flat, that's going to shape our tree a lot more. We can't actually do a lot of um, <clears throat> encouragement of new growth today because most of that happens in the springtime when the new foliage comes um, and this time of year for a spruce it's a bit different different trees have different ways of pruning and the spruce works in a particular way normally if you pinched out or cut a branch back it would back bud but that's not the case for spruces so we're going to get on and wire it today now um, as I always say in my bonsai videos there are people that have been doing it for years and will tell you their way is the only way. What we're trying to achieve today is um, showing you how to do it and getting it into the right shape. And that can be achieved in many ways. All the right shape for you, you should say. So I'm bending the wire around the trunk of the branch very close. And I'm trying not to bring it down on top of any of the little branches so it cuts off the part that's growing. I know it's really hard to see at the moment, but I will give you a close up in a minute of what I've done. But if you bring the wire down in the wrong place, you can actually damage these little branches, which we might need. Now, our wire is quite heavy and we probably will have enough the way that is. So I don't have to go tight into the end because the wire is quite um, strong for the ranch, quite heavy for the ranch. Let me turn it round. Hopefully you can see this branch here. Now this branch here is the longer branch, so I've bent it a bit. And eventually we'll be wiring this one out. Sorry, I can just see that you can't see that. This is the longer branch here and it's wired all the way along here now. And eventually we'll be wiring these out when they get a bit stronger. Until we've created our first platform or cloud as it's called. Now what we want is this piece here that's laying over the top of the branches not to be so tight that it damages those little branches because we're going to want those later. So we've got the end of the wire here, let me bring that on camera there, always fold it back on itself so you don't poke yourself in the eye because that can really hurt because you're not always looking for wire when you're doing this and I've just seen this branch needs to come down. So that's now in a position I want, um, there we go. Now I'm going to do the other branch, I'm going to do it exactly the same way, I'm going to wire it nicely around the branch. This becomes a lot harder if you don't use the right strength of wire. Now, that's tricky because there's a branch right where I want to bend it. 
it's really hard to show on camera um wiring of a tree <laughs> unless you've got someone else filming it of course for you of course I haven't had to be as tight with this one and at the end again I'm going to bend it back give it some shape there we go so that's where we are at the moment now this back branch I haven't decided really if I want to keep it if I do keep it it's going to be wide down at the back let me turn it around and show you. It'll be wide down here, but I haven't decided on that yet. Now, we want to remove any growth that's particularly forced <coughs> going downwards. This branch here is a bit deceptive because the wire is forcing it down. But what I'm going to do is off camera, I'm going to tidy up all these little bits that are growing on the trunk here. And clip off like this knot here, anything that we don't want. And then I'm going to have to make a decision about this back branch. Tell me if you can't see, okay? Mm So here is the little Picea, um, it's pretty much as much as I can do at the moment. I've left the back branch, this one here on. I think my main problem with it is it's quite long and it's too long compared to the other two. So I didn't really like it, but I've given it a bit of a bend and I've pruned some of the foliage off the end here. Um, so it's a better length, so it fits a little better. Now it's a waiting game, as with a lot of bonsai. There's not a lot for me to do at the moment. I need to let those branches sit in place for a couple of months before I take the wire off, just before the end of the summer. Um, that'll give me a better idea of what needs doing, what I can remove, what I'm going to keep. Um, and then I should be able to, in the new season, prune these back when these buds on the end come out. That will also help me um, create new buds on these pads to fill it out a bit and look more like clouds they're a little bit sparse at the moment and we may have to wire down some of these branches but i don't want to do that yet as we have wire on the main branch 
Um, there could be a little bit of work done to this top part, but I'm not too worried about that at the moment. For now, it's a little waiting game. And all that remains is to let this guy have some time before we do some more work on him, which is often the job. But as for a first start to the shape of this bonsai, I'm really pleased compared to when we first got it. It's starting, starting on the very first start <laughs> of shaping a bonsai to get a little bit of shape. 